Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to discuss about muscle cells as scaffold. So in previous class we discussed about muscle systems as scaffold. Under that we discussed about uh, the architecture, mechanism and now the third thing is muscle cells as scaffold. So muscle cells, uh, previous topic and this topic is almost similar. So I am going a little bit faster in this topic. So please bear with me. So because the concepts are same. So muscle cells can be used as a scaffold for the tissue generation by removing the uh, living cells from the muscle tissue and leaving behind the structure known as ECM. What you are having the muscles, the in every muscles we are having something called ECM which is nothing but uh, what is told as a scaffold right. So it will give you the mechanical strength and structural uh, support and mechanical support. Now what you have to do muscles can be used as a scaffold for that. Now the for the tissue regeneration what you will do? You remove the living cells, you take a muscle, remove the cells and make, uh, separate the cells from the uh, structure that is ECM, that is extracellular matrix. Now you have removed this, now uh, this ECM is called what? Decellularized muscle scaffold, okay. That provides a framework that can guide and support the growth of the new tissue. Now this particular tissue, the ECM, which is the new one. So representation of muscle scaffold for tissue growth. So once you remove all the muscles, okay, so you are having the particular extracellular matrix which is decellularized. So there lot of uh, space is there where you can uh, incorporate different cells so that those cells will grow, okay. So you may have other problem, cells, muscle cells as scaffold only. Now muscle cell, muscle system as a Scaffold on the node is there. Introduction node is there. Other now architecture is there. But the mechanism is there. This is a separate topic in health care. Muscle cells system on the muscle cells as scaffold is there. So this is the layer of the layer. You first on the other one muscle top of the layer of the layer of the cells. Mate other one hit the point of the structure is there. The extracellular matrix is there. Other now for the layer of the synthesis is there. Scaffold is there. So, this scaffold or extracellular matrix is the same. So, this extracellular matrix is the same. This is the structure and the mechanical support. This is the cells that grow and develop. So, this is the cells that we have to take. The muscle is the same. The other one is the cells that we have to take. This is the same. So, we have to take the decellularized muscle scaffold. This is the same. This is the same. This is the same. This is the scaffold character. So, we have cell to take it. So, decellularized muscle scaffold. So, this is a framework. What is the framework? Cells guide and support. What is the cells tissue growth? So, usually, we have scaffold to take it. We have 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 to take it. मतलब तुम्हारे सेल्स रहते हैं ना वो भी सेल्स का डंडे ला रिमूव मार रहा था इले नाम के ना रहते हैं इतर स्ट्रक्चर से रहते हैं इतर स्ट्रक्चर रहते हैं ला इतर स्ट्रक्चर वाले ना रहते हैं नाम के स्ट्रक्चरल सपोर्ट मतलब मैकेनिकल सपोर्ट है ना कोड के एक्सट्रासिलर मैट्रिक्स विच लाइक ऐसा स्कैफोल्ड स then we uh, harvested cells right here, muscle tissue in it harvest because from the tissue we need separate cells and then the decellularized ECM. So harvesting the muscle uh, tissue, so a small sample of muscle is taken typically from the donor or animal model, okay, you take a one small piece of muscle. Now cell removal. That means now the living cells, what we have studied in the introduction, we need to remove the living cells. Now the living cells within the muscle tissue are removed using the process called decellularization. How you are going to remove it? With the help of, there is something called, one process is there that is name is decellularization. That means removing the cells from the ECM, separating cells from the this particular framework network. So once that is been removed, now you have harvested the muscle from the muscle. Uh, the cells has been removed, living cells have been removed. Now what is left out? Decellularized ECM. Now the remaining ECM, that is remaining extracellular matrix, is a decellularized extracellular matrix, okay, which forms a structure of muscle, okay, is now a scaffold. Now this remaining 
ECM it itself is called a scaffold. Now it's a natural 100% natural scaffold it is. Okay, it consists of proteins, collagen, elastin, and other molecules that provide support and signal for the tissue growth. So all these things, this particular extracellular matrix, we have lamin, elastin, fibrin, collagen, every proteins, every protein has got their own function. Some they will give the signal transduction, some they will give you the growth factor, some they will give you the structural support, some they will give you as a uh, mechanical support, like for example collagen. Okay, so three steps, harvesting the muscle tissue, cell removal, we are uh, taking the one particular tissue here, we are taking cells from this living cells, so whatever remove, uh, imagine the cells have been removed, now whatever the structure this is there, this structure is nothing but a ECM which is decellularized ECM. This structure itself will act as a scaffold. So what and all it contains? Collagen, elastin and many other molecules will be there. For what purpose? They will support and signal the tissue growth. That means for the other tissue cells and all you can grow inside this. Now seeding the cells. Again, this process is same what we studied in the previous this thing. Now you take whatever the cells you want to remove. Because you want to grow. Because this is natural process. No? You take the new different cells, now you seed the cell, that means inserting the cells inside the ECM, that is decellularized ECM or decellularized muscle scaffold, both are same, scaffold is now a decellular ECM. Now seeding or the putting the cells inside it, that whatever the uh, desired tissue you want, those cells you bring, put it inside this particular scaffold or decellularized matrix. Now you are having this particular stuff. Now go for the tissue growth. Now over time what happens, now the seeded cells inside these things, they proliferate and they differentiate, they undergo differentiation, they will multiply, then they will transform into the specific cell types required or whatever the desired cells you have put based on that. Now ECM what it does, it will guide uh, the cells growth, that means how structurally, how it should be formed that will be guided by the ECM or a scaffold which is providing physical support, biochemical cues in, to influence their behavior. All these things will be given inside this thing. So tissue growth will happen inside the scaffold or decellular ECM. Okay. Last step, tissue integration. Now you need to integrate with the tissue. How? As the cell continues to grow, they populate as a scaffold. Now the scaffold, they will populate in the uh, scaffold that means they grow in the scaffold they will form a new tissue in the scaffold now the new tissue integrates with the surrounded na native tissue now the surrounded native tissue will be there now that they will integrate with the new tissue okay so gradually what happens they will replace the decellularized scaffold with a functional and regenerative tissue now they can replace by this particular decellularized scaffold with functional or regenerative regenerative regenerated tissue so that's how the tissue integration takes place understood this is whole process the last previously what we saw was a shortcut but here in detail since it is about the muscles from the muscles how we can do okay like that we have explained in this so uh, cells muscle cells as a scaffold so e topically now you are not like a process and now you really in what i did muscle cells and scaffold like this model want to do but really muscle cells and scaffold like how you use model down there the muscle cells is that all our cells are not take good of living cells are not taking it all the other only work on the road and you see mother now here is the other kitty cellularized you see mother carry tire other scaffold and the carry tire is the other one there you are the scaffold and only the last scaffold or the cells remove my baby correct so other than that, this is the process start again. So you are the first step, steps wise now. So harvesting muscle tissue, and then you are going to do one particular muscle cell. So you are healthy muscle cells. So you are going to do one particular cell cell. Cell 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 cell. Next step is cell removal. So you are going to do one particular cell 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 cell. So you are going to do one particular cell 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 cell. So E cells, natural network is there, natural network is there, the extracellular matrix is there, the matrix is there, that's the matrix is there. The extracellular matrix is there, the cell is there, that's the decellularized extracellular matrix is there, that's the scaffold is there. Now we call it the scaffold like it, third step is there, ECM scaffold, this is the remaining ECM. अंदर जाना अदू ये ना करते स्ट्रक्चरल सपोर्ट करते मैकेनिकल सपोर्ट करते अदू वाला गरीब बंदा प्रोटीन्स करो कोलेजन इलास्टिन बेर बेर फाइबर्स इन अल अल बेर बेर तारा सपोर्ट मार देते टिश्यू ग्रोथ के मतलब जेनरेशन के डिफरेंसेशन के मतलब ग्रोथ के अतः लगा लेते 
ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇದ್ರ ಒಳಗಡೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ಸಿಡಿ ನಾವು ಇವಾಗ ಬೇರೆ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಗಳು ಇವಾಗ ನಾನು ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನು ಗ್ರೋ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅನ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದೀನಿ ನಾನು ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಒಂದು ಹಾಕಬಹುದು ಅಥವಾ ಮಸ್ತ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಕಲ್ಸಲ್ಸ್ ಹಾಕಬಹುದು ಸೊ ಬೇರೆ ಲಿವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಹಾಕಬಹುದು ಸೊ ನಾನು ಇವಾಗ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಅವನು ಇದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾಕ್ತೀನಿ ಸೊ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬೆಳಿಗ್ಗೆ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅದು ಸಿಡಿ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಹಾಕೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಸಿಡಿ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಈ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೇವೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ಹೇಗಾಗತ್ತೆ ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಇನ್ನೇನಾಗತ್ತೆ ಸ್ಲೋ ಆಗಿ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರೋಲಿಪರೇಟ್ ಆಗತ್ತೆ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಶಿಯೇಟ್ ಆಗತ್ತೆ ಫೈನಲಿ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಆಗಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಅದು ಉಪಭೋಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಗತ್ತೆ ಅಥವಾ ಅದರ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಗತ್ತೆ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿದ್ರೆ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ಸಿಗತ್ತೆ ಲಿವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿದ್ರೆ ಲಿವರ್ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ಸಿಗತ್ತೆ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಸ್ಕೆಲೆಟಲ್ ಮಸಲ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿದ್ರೆ ಸ್ಕೆಲೆಟಲ್ ಮಸಲ್ಸ್ ಸಿಗತ್ತೆ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ಸಿಗತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಅದೇ ತರ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಸಿಎಂ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಇದು ಸೆಲ್ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ಅನ್ನ ಗೈಡ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಹೇಗೆ ಗ್ರೋ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕು ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕಲ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಕೊಡುತ್ತೆ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಕೊಡುತ್ತೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಬಯೋಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ಕ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆ ತರ ಎಲ್ಲ ಏನೆಲ್ಲ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೂಯೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಅದೆಲ್ಲ ಟಿ ಸಿಎಂ ಕೊಡುತ್ತೆ ಅದು ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಫಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ತ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ಇಂಟಿಗ್ರೇಷನ್ ನಾವು ಇವಾಗ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಗ್ರೋ ಆಗಿದೆ ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲೇಟ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಇದ್ರ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಪೋಲ್ಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅದನ್ನ ತಗೊಂಡು ಹೋಗಿ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಬಾಡಿ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಹೊಸ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂಗಳು ಅದರ ಆಜು ಬಾಜು ಇರುವಂತಹ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂಗಳು ಇದ್ರೊಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ಫ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅದರೊಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ಇಂಟಿಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಸರೌಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ಸೊ ಸೊ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದು ಇಂಟಿಗ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಡೀಸೆಲ್ ಸ್ಕ್ಯಾಫೋಲ್ಡ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇರುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಅಥವಾ ಒಂದು ಎಸ್ ಇ ಸಿ ಎಮ್ ಇರುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಅದನ್ನ ಅದನ್ನ ರಿಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ವಿತ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಲ್ ಆಗಿ ರೀಜನರೇಟಿವ್ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ಸೊ ಅದ್ರೊಳಗಡೆ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ನಾವು ಹಾಕಿರೋ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಏನಿರುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಅದ್ರ ಒಟ್ಟಿಗೆನೆ ಫಂಕ್ಷನಲ್ ಆಗಿರುವಂತಹ ಅಥವಾ ರೀಜನರೇಟಿವ್ ಟಿಶ್ಯೂ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಅದು ವರ್ಕ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಗ್ ಬೈ ಇಂಜಿನ್ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮಸ್ಕುಲ್ ಅಜಿಸ್ಟ್ರಪಿ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ವೇರ್ ವಿ ಲೂಸ್ ದ ಮಸಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಮಸಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಲಿ ದೇ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ದ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೈ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್